the Ringling Art Museum here in Sarasota, Florida, where we'll be comparing two drastically different pieces from different time periods. One piece from the early Renaissance, the other from Abstract Expressionism. Both artists are from different time periods completely. First, let's look at a piece from Lucas Kernat, the Elder. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about him. Lucas Kernat, the Elder, was born in Kernat, Germany in 1472. He was the leading painter of Saxony and one of the most important and influential artists in 16th century German art. The painting by Lucas Kernat is called Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg as St. Jerome. You will notice how there are two different names here, Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg and St. Jerome. Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg was a powerful prince of the church who, while an enlightened patron of scholarship and the arts, had a somewhat tarnished reputation for luxurious living and unseemly relationships with women. This was at the time of the Counter-Reformation when the Catholic Church was losing influence and was trying to curb abuses by the clergy and so defend against inroads made by Protestant reformers. The Cardinal wished to be portrayed to the viewers as a devout and scholarly cleric and therefore had himself portrayed as Saint Jerome. Saint Jerome was both devout and a scholar. He lived <laughs> St. Jerome was both devout and a scholar. He lived an ascetic life devoted to the church and had devoted much of his life to study, contemplation, and church administration. He was therefore a perfect figure for the cardinal to model himself upon for the portrait. The painting is oil on a wood panel. It is about 45 by 35 inches with a frame of 55 by 40 inches. Oh look, there's me by the painting. What a coincidence. The painting shows Cardinal Albrecht as St. Jerome, seated at his desk in a rather contemporary study. A chandelier called a Lusterbiken hangs from the ceiling. The painting has an elaborate symbolic program which would have been read and understood by educated people of the day. In the foreground are a lion, Jerome's companion in the desert, a beaver symbolic of industriousness, a squirrel indicating frugality, a parrot to signal the Annunciation, in addition to pheasants, a peacock, and an apple, and a deer. All symbolic of characters, char, char, characteristics Albrecht wanted associated with himself. Notice that Cardinal Albrecht is wearing red, which makes him pop from the background, which is mostly brown, green, and blue. The piece also has great perspective and lighting. Next, let's look at a piece by abstract expressionist Baru Salinas. Baru Salinas is a Cuban artist that was born in Havana, Cuba in 1935. He started painting at age six, helping his mother with her still lives of flowers. By age 11, Salinas had begun painting landscape based on his observations of scenery in Cuba. This was followed by scenes of life and people in Havana, such as fish salesmen, ice cream salesmen, and children on buses. These evolved into busier market scenes that he would sketch in person and apply paint to afterwards. His early works were made in his childhood bedroom, as he did not have a studio at the time. He first exhibited his works at school. The piece we'll be looking at is titled Through the Ring. The painting is mixed media, including paint, pastels, charcoal, and graphite on canvas, and it's 38 by 71 inches. Through the Ring depicts a cloud going through a cloud ring. <laughs> would you look at that? It's me again. Uh, from far off, the colors blend together to create an illusion of shading and depth, but upon further inspection, you'll notice that it's actually made of big strokes of color. The whites and browns stand out against the blues and blacks of the background beautifully. Okay, it's that time of the video. Time to compare. Through the Ring doesn't have any clear edges, while Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg as St. Jerome has clean, sharp lines. Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg as St. Jerome uses many colors such as red, brown, blues, greens, etc. While Through the Ring only uses a couple of colors with no clear forms or characters. While Cardinal Albrecht of Brandenburg as St. Jerome does. It's clear that one painting is trying to convey realism while the other is not. At the end of the day, these pieces are drastically different from each other and should not be compared against each other in the first place. 
That was a waste of time. This has been Art with Simon. <laughs>